Hello and welcome to my channel, Silly Norseman. This is my first little trip after the pandemic to the little town Torremolinos, Spain. I did this trip in the beginning of May and uh, this is where I had a little spark. Maybe I'll start making some videos. So here we are, in beautiful sunny Spain, right in the middle of tourist territory Costa del Sol. Torremolinos in Malaga. Warming up with a beer, of course, before we head out and take a walk through the town, the city, the place. So, first things first Torremolinos is a municipality in Andalusia, Spain, and it's located to the west of Malaga city. Before the 1950s, it was a poor fisher village. Then the tourist boom happened around the 60s and Torremolinos was the first of the Costa del Sol areas to get developed. The tourist development of course created an economic boom and it created the town we see today. But the thing is, it hasn't really been refurbished or uh, developed anymore in the years to come. So it still looks kind of the same as it did back in the 60s. The town looked really old, worn, rustic, yellow, sandy, very charming in other words. I also have to add that I'm walking this street quite early in the morning, so it's not a lot of people out yet. Walking through these mosaic tile streets is very weird to me, as we don't really have streets like this in Norway. Sandy, yellow. Like a desert town, sort of. And there's a lot of interesting shops here as well, as you can see right now, as I'm entering a shop that only has white clothes. Everything is white. Store with all white clothes. Mm. Nothing but whites. So walking through these uh, residential areas, see how people live, and look at this very special building, Mara Nostrum. That is actually the Roman name for the Mediterranean Sea. And as you can see here, palm trees everywhere. Just look how these buildings are placed. <laughs> very special to walk down the streets. little more graffiti on the wall there. Can't go anywhere in the world without graffiti on the walls. Very green, very lush, very sunny. Yeah, this is nothing like home. <laughs> we don't have streets like this. The architecture. Imagine living in something like this. Man, so cool. This is a mosaic house I found. Just standing out among the sandy yellow theme of the whole area. So I just came over this building, which has a awesome architecture. I uh, overheard some. Uh, people saying that uh, this architecture is uh, from the Moors people and uh, this is probably not built by them it's a uh, replica and built in the Moors style interesting looks like a very rich man's house but uh, today it's been being used as a concert hall wedding chapel stuff like that by the municipality of Malaga and that's like yeah, that's awesome Apparently, the Moors was a term used for the Muslim people of the region. An example of how laid-back they are in the south of Spain. This car is going in the opposite lane because all of these cars have just parked in that lane. 
See here? The arrow goes this way, the car went that way. Because that lane is now a parking spot, people decided. Mañana, mañana. That's a Spanish expression meaning tomorrow, tomorrow. The cars will probably be there tomorrow. No stress. The general vibe in this uh, town is very different from the rest of Europe. It seems like they're really trying to resemble like the rest of the Latin world, or maybe the last rest of the Latin world is trying to resemble this. I don't know, but it's a very Latin vibe to the whole area. And they have the tradition of uh, siesta here in the south. And that is that they close up all shops between like uh, 12 and sometime in the evening. I was waiting until like 17:30 for a shoe shop to open, so I could go in and get me a pair of shoes so yeah very laid back it's no stress with anything just have to wait a little bit <laughs> right now I'm heading over this street and I'm gonna go a little bit up the next street and then I'm gonna turn around and head over to the beach area but first let's see what's up this street Ooh, a little hunk <laughs> See the car park here consists of Opel, small Volkswagens and in general small cars. People don't really drive like big cars here. And one brand that's very popular is the Spanish brand Seat which is now owned by Volkswagen, but I see a lot of Spanish people still like that brand, because it is originally Spanish. So, <coughs> going over this road and then you can see the beach area down there below. And as you can see, there's palm trees everywhere. I really want to make this feel tropical as much as possible. Different types of palm trees too. Not just one one type. <laughs> So as we're coming down towards the beach area, you'll see that it changes from residential buildings to more or less hotels. Everything you see down this street is hotels. Let's head out to the beach. So here we are down at the beach, and this is the reason for the development in this area. It stretches for miles this beach and far beyond the town of Tormalinos. It's also a very clean city. Not a lot of trash around and we saw these bins everywhere. Another shot of the beach with a filter on. Looks very nice. I also found this awesome sandcastle construct. And they actually made a new one the next day. And then finally the last stop of the day, a little pub, have that last beer. Click the like and subscribe button if you want to see more of the videos I try to create. All of the footage was shot with uh, two half broken iPhones, uh, an iPhone 7 and an iPhone X, so not the best equipment. My next projects are going to be much better quality and much better thought through. This was my first trip in like years, and I was just caught up in the moment and forgot to speak and stuff. So this was merely like a mashup of the little footage I had. So thank you for watching, those of you who did, and give me a comment. Bye bye.